Hi everyone, happy Easter. I'm KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff. And I wanted to give you this webcast extra because I'm putting together the forecast for the upcoming work week. And it looks like strong to severe storms look likely, including the potential for some significant severe weather by the middle towards the end of this work week. So let me get you caught up with the latest. But now is the time to start preparing because it does appear that alerts and warnings will be coming out, uh, especially on Thursday. And uh, some of those storms could be be packing a major punch so you want to make sure that you have the latest weather information and you're able to get that wherever you are whether that be at home or on the road or at your work so let me get you caught up with this webcast extra now severe storms have been issued uh, for the severe weather risk in Oklahoma on Wednesday this is what we call the day four severe thunderstorm outlook issued by the storm prediction center and that does include most of central and eastern Oklahoma now storms are possible in northwest Arkansas in the evening but most likely they will develop to our west in Oklahoma and eventually make their way eastward and could move into northwest Arkansas during the evening into the overnight hours most likely after dark if they hold together the threats for those storms will be tornadoes very large hail and damaging winds that could be a significant day in Oklahoma as we move into Thursday though the risk shifts off to the east a little bit and severe storms look likely in Arkansas and it does include our entire viewing area the threats for these will be tornadoes the wind shear looks very impressive so some strong tornadoes not out of the question very large hail and damaging winds now obviously this is several days out there will be a lot of details that need to be refined and there still remains some uncertainty as to exactly where this significant severe weather threat will be but let me show you why we're a little concerned with the setup on Thursday afternoon so this is the way the surface map may look we'll have a dry line that will be slicing through central Oklahoma a cold front that trails behind that a warm front and this is what you call the warm sector we will definitely be in the warm sector where you have all that warm and humid air in fact it will be getting rather humid this week then we have behind that dry line very hot and dry air and you can see how that air is kind of converging and colliding into each other that will eventually lead to once the cap breaks some thunderstorm development now exactly where that thunderstorm development occurs it still remains to be seen obviously we're several days out then we have strong low level wind shear the winds will be screaming out of the south southwest in the low levels finally we have a jet stream that's coming in this is what we call a negatively tilted trough there is a lot of spreading of the jet stream winds especially over Arkansas and eastern Oklahoma this is what we call difluence and essentially that creates a void of air aloft and that air has to be replaced by below so that is some very fast rising motion so thunderstorms along with instability will rapidly intensify and this is an impressive setup for Thursday afternoon now we can actually see the weather system looming on the west coast just off the west coast of the United States low pressure system is organizing and intensifying a jet stream is dipping to the south I can tell you in my years of meteorology this is a very ominous upper level pattern and one of the things that I want to show you is you can see those clouds those kind of those speckled looking clouds those are called alto cumulus clouds and they represent cold air aloft and that cold air aloft will lead to instability where you have very warm humid air near the ground above that a hot dry layer of air which is that cap and then above that you have that cold air aloft which creates your instability and so you can actually see those mackerel sky clouds the alto cumulus clouds uh, representing that cold air aloft so that's the latest here with this severe weather setup on Thursday. Obviously, we're going to tell you about all the ways to keep up with the weather alerts. We have multiple ways here on KNWA and on Fox 24. Of course, on the air, we'll be on the storms. Our storm spotters will be tracking them. We also have weather call. Now is the time to get set up for that. Go to nwahomepage.com. Click on the weather tab. Click on weather call. It takes about five minutes to set up. But you definitely want to do that before these storms move in by the middle towards the end of this work week. I'll be giving updates throughout the week, so keep it here with your weather authority for the latest.